Did you know that you've been poisoned since birth? Ever since you were born, you've been poisoned. And the reason they've poisoned you is for multiple different reasons. So that you basically become a slave to the state because you cannot think, because you have constant brain fogs. That's one thing, so you can no longer critically think. The next thing is to make you a forever big pharma patient. and cut, Well, not patient, but a big pharma customer. And the third reason is the depopulation agenda. Not the depopulation agenda as in to kill everybody, but the depopulation agenda to basically poison you since your birth. Or actually, let me, let me say, it actually begins before your birth, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. So if they can make you infertile, then that's the perfect way to start the depopulation agenda. Because just killing people is very hard to do. But sterilizing everybody is very easy. You can probably get away with it. They, you can link it to them. It's harder to link it to them, so they get, they'll get away with it, essentially. It's very, very, very effective. Like, it's a fact we're unhealthy. We're having record, record high NHS waiting lists. It might not even be the, the, the leadership. It might not even be the fact that, you know, they're run wrong or not enough money or not enough staff. It could also just be the fact that we're all sick and unhealthy now because we're all constantly going to the hospital to get checked up. You go to the doctors, I have this problem, I have this problem. All these autoimmune, I have this form of inflammation, I have this stomach issue, I have this, you know, cancer, this disease. This is always something new. So you can think it's the vaccines, you can think it's the chemtrails, whatever you want to think it is. I'm going to say the first thing is plastics. And when I say poison since birth, I know it's not just... Because sure, we have plastics all the time. But, and plastics, I'm just going to take the facts, they essentially make you infertile especially if consumed at a high rate, and tell me, where did you find these plastics? Not not just for adults, for babies. How are babies been poisoned? By dummies. Think about, what you, every time the baby cries, you're, you're having it then suck on plastic. It's literally digesting plastics. And then what's the next thing? When you're feeding them milk with the, the baby milk, you're feeding them it in a plastic bottle, and they're sucking on it. These are the worst quality plastics as well. If you're consuming these since your birth, that's going to have an effect on you. And we're seeing it. Male testosterone count down 50% in the last half half of a century. Same with sperm count. Sperm counts also down 50% and continuing to decline. So this is what I mean as in infer infertility. It's, it is happening. So and when I said before you're born, well, think about it. If, you, if, you're, if, you're, so if you're a woman and you're pregnant, if you're like touching plastics during that period, your, that son or daughter will actually be more likely to be infertile as well. And then, well, as I was talking about the baby milk, did you know that they literally put vegetable oils in the milk? We all know these seed oils are pretty much poison. They're, they're feeding them to babies. And then when we grow older, we then give them cereal with these grains and all this stuff. And then in school, this is actually a, a very, very strange one. I, I don't it's a very interesting one. In schools, most primary schools will give out milk, free milk for everyone, at lunch or whatever time of the day, milk break. So they give everyone a bunch of semi-skimmed milk, and it's going to be from these just, it's just normal milk. I suppose it, there was an actual study done that when these kids consume milk, just a standard, not organic, not just like the cows that are fed moldy grains, after, within an hour of drinking it, their testosterone count has dropped by like 50. If something reduces testosterone count, which we can assume it reduces sperm counts, and then for, a, a, for after, we can assume that it makes you infertile. And that's the goal. So, let me just clarify this for you, by the way. With the babies. So your baby cries. So, so your babies are crying. Plastic dummy. Oh, baby's hungry. I guess we'll, I guess we'll feed him some milk. So then he drinks vegetable oils out of his plastic... <laughs> Out of his plastic uh, bottle. It's literally an infertility shot right there. I can't... It, the fact they're doing this, the fact they're getting away with it, the fact that people keep... They're not awake at all. Totally switched off to this fact. And everyone cries about, oh, depopulation, and Elon Musk said there's going to be a population crisis, yet they completely ignore this. Even if you want to have children, you can't. Big shame. You know, I'm sure they would make having children illegal if they could, but they just can't. You know, one of the things in the book 1984 is that, sure, they try to ban thoughts, but you know what would be much easier? Make it impossible to have thoughts. So what they did is they were trying to change the language and the, the vocabulary 
of the people. So that if they're so limited to words, then they essentially can't think. They cannot process thoughts because they don't have the words to think them in their brain. It's called, I can't remember what it's called, like stop crime or something, where you're basically just preventing the crime from happening. So what they're doing here is that instead of making it illegal to have children, they just make it impossible to have children. So even if you wanted to break that law, you can't. That's what they're going to do. It's very, very easy to, because once you do that, can you blame the state? Sure. But it's very, very hard to be angry at them when it's kind of like your own doing. Yeah, there's a reason they want depopulation. They want 500 million people on the planet. There's a reason. Population control. Population control is as simple as it says. Controlling the population, not necessarily controlling the number of the people, but to control a population of people, it's much easier to do that when there's less of them. So, because why would they want us? Why, why would the elite want us here? How do we benefit them? We sit here, we demand houses, food, you know, circus, um, to, to be entertained and, you know, cheap this, cheap that. We just sit here and eat, sleep. And it's like, they, they probably don't really want us. Why would they? But they want enough of us so they can, they can control us and that we can all work for them and be their slaves. But when you have the masses, our strength is in numbers. Or, or the only way we can fight back, we don't really have power, but we have numbers. If they can just reduce the numbers, then we have nothing on them. Because they'll have the same amount of people being the elite, but there will just be less masses to fight back. And that's the ultimate goal. And this is no conspiracy theory. The male sperm count is expected to reach zero by about 2050 or 2060, which means you can't have children by 2050, 2060. That's the goal. It's not, these things don't happen on accident. You know, people would sit there and go, oh, in only, you know, 80, 90 years, they made everyone normal to them being completely infertile. <laughs> I wonder how we slipped into that. It's not by accident. These things don't happen on accident. These only, only such drastic change can only happen on complete deliberation. It's impossible for it to happen otherwise. So yeah, I mean, you stop these dummies and all that. Raise your kids right. Don't be giving them this baby milk. Or if you need to, at least get the appropriate bottle that isn't just having them suck on plastic all day. And don't get the one with vegetable oils and emulsifiers and just. It's essentially just processed food because it's basically junk food because people sit there and go, well, it's baby milk is different. Well, no, because don't look at the what it appears like. Look at the ingredients. It's literally got pretty much the same ingredients as like a really processed tub of ice cream. It's got the same ingredients, monodiglycerides and emulsifiers and gelling agents. It's got the same things in it. You're feeding your kids poison. So don't do that. Resist, resist the depopulation agenda and long live freedom.